is Nekoko uh, Jiko Pungarime. I come from humble beginnings. I'm from Sikukune in a small village of Hamarishan. Uh, my experience in Teflop as a young boy coming from a village was a bit overwhelming, but because by then we used to have people who would walk us through and take us to the relevant places where we have to get assistance from, it was not that much difficult. The only difficulties we had to experience now was life on campus after we are done with registration because now that's when you had to understand that from now on we are on our own. Uh, the challenges that I had when I started my first year were more uh, relating to time management. There was no one to wake us up because bear in mind I was from a hostel when I came to the University of Limpopo where everything was done in a timely manner. There was somebody to wake you up, somebody to tell you to go for for breakfast, somebody to tell you to go for lunch, somebody to tell you to go to study, and somebody to tell you when it's uh, time for you to go to bed. So when I came here, everything was in my hands, and I had to make sure that I managed to uh, become responsible and, 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 and do everything uh, on my own. The most important lesson that I was able to derive from the University of Limpopo was humility. Everyone from different backgrounds were, were brought to this institution because of their quest for education. So, you know, as a previously disadvantaged university, we, we, we have people who came from extremely hard backgrounds and all of us had to become one thing and unite ourselves because our goal was just to acquire education. So a lot of things that we learned from home, we had to relearn them here at the university and understand that though we are from different backgrounds, what brings us together here is education. And that was the most important lesson that I got from the university, humility. Well, my, my fav uh, funny enough, my favorite lecture um, is, is the one that I actually met when I was doing my, my honors, uh, Mr. Matewula. Of course, there are some, of course, Mr. Maniak, but Mr. Matewula was my favorite because, you know, once you do honors, you start to uh, rub shoulders with your lecturers, maybe outside the university, in social engagements, and if one is to get ahead of himself, might one might think that perhaps you have a relationship with that particular lecture. But what he taught me is that even though we're able to meet outside the university, interact and, and, and share jokes, uh, when it came to his work, you were on your own. Whether you were with him on a Sunday, whether you were with him on a, on a, on a Saturday, when it comes to his work, when he gives you an exam, he will mark you according to, to the merits that you deserve not the ones that you think that you, the ones that you worked for, not the ones that you think you deserve. So it, it gave me a very good lesson in life that, you know, irrespective of who you know and irrespective of how you think you know a person, at the end of the day, you are the only person who can help yourself. So I think that's, that's the biggest lesson I got from him, that though I thought I had a, a personal relationship with him, but when it came to his work, he never compromised everything I had to do on my own, without him even lifting a finger. I, I have a become economics, and I also have um, an honors in public administration, all of them from the University of Limpopo. Well, um, back then, my or our favorite uh, hangout space was um, MBA rooftop. That's where all the, the, the private parties used to happen. And uh, on Saturdays, all of us, when we're done with our academic activities, would meet there. And yeah, it was, it was sort of a hideout because we knew that even though sometimes there would be um, security personnel checking people who are making noise at MBA rooftop, uh, at MBA rooftop, it was a bit difficult for them to to detect. Well, my, my, my work experience, I've, I've, I don't have a background of actually having work, but I'm, I'm self-employed. Um, I established three companies after I graduated from the university. I have um, a restaurant uh, called Tijong Lifestyle. 
I also have uh, DFK Securities, which deals with uh, VIP protection. I also have Digicon, Digicon Consulting, which deals with uh, 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 civil engineering consultancy. So those are the companies that I was able to establish, and I think they are, they are competing very well in the, in the workspace environment. I am the current chairperson of Alumni and Convocation Limpopo Chapter. What the association means to me, uh, the association is, is, is to me a platform whereby former graduates of the university can still strengthen relations between themselves and the institution. And the association also, to me, serves as a bridge between the institution and its uh, graduates. And we have to use the tools at our disposal within the association to make sure that we encourage all graduates in their field of expertise to bring back what they were able to grasp from the outside industry back to the university in order to ensure that the university achieves its goals and missions. My wish is to grow the association bigger than what it is and I wish for people or generations that come after us to take the association further from where we're able to, to, to deliver it. And I wish to see the association becoming a vibrant platform where uh, former graduates or graduates of the university are able to assist the university in achieving its mission, which is to find solutions for Africa.